<clears throat> Hello, Sagittarius. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your September 2022 mini tarot reading. We're going to take a shuffle here and see what's coming up for you. Please remember this is a general reading, and if you'd like one just about you, um, you can go to my website. I've included the link down below, www.soulstarbliss.com, or you can also book me on readings by Judy. I've included that, and that's J-U-D-I-E down below. Um, also, you want to check your sun, your moon, and your rising sign, as sometimes they connect better than just your sun sign. And last but not least, don't forget about the autumn equinox. It is the 23rd of September here in the States. It's a magical, powerful day. Make sure you enjoy that day and use the energy from that. I know on that day, the brooms stand up, the eggs stand up, all kinds of fun stuff can go on that day. <coughs> Excuse me. I am just getting over a terrible cold and my allergies have come early. That's why I'm so late putting these up. So thank you for bearing with me. And let's see what's coming up for you, Sagittarius. Let's see here. What do we have? Oh my goodness. Okay, that feeling of being alone. Gosh, that's been prominent today. I think it's leaving you. I have the Ace of Wands, which means new beginnings are possible. Beginning of a journey, beginning of a family, beginning of a friendship beginning of a love but it even can be a new beginning with oneself as weird as that sounds you can decide that no more am I going to feel this way no more am I going to accept that it's stating what you want and then sticking with it and you will because the ace of swords is victory that's what I have here for you <coughs> oh I'm so sorry I'm so sorry to cough on you mm. It says that victory is going to be yours. And hold on to that victory. You deserve it. You've worked hard for it. It's about time that the good, the sunshine shines on Sagittarius. If you had an argument with somebody recently, like, I don't know, within the last month or so, and you felt really uh, stabbed in the back or they turned their back on you or whatever, I think it, you're going to make a reconnection with them and you misinterpreted something they said possibly. So before you close that door forever, you might wanna have a meeting or a talk with them. No texting, texting is too direct. You're gonna need to actually speak out loud. Um, here's another ace. So I know good things are here for you. That feeling of not knowing which way to turn, what to do, what's next, whatever. Here's your best course of action. Do the ace of cups which says it's my favorite card in the deck when your mind is filled with spirit fills your body to overflowing what you think about you become that's such big medicine <coughs> excuse me if you think you're a loser you're a loser if you think you're a winner you're a winner if you think you're beautiful you're beautiful i'm just saying a lot of of what you feel or what you think is how what comes into play here so i believe that when you believe you're the best salesperson, you're the best mom, you're the best whatever it is that you become that, even if you don't believe you are. Change that belief. Have an attitude of gratitude. Smallest little pinch of gratitude can grow into a room full of gratitude. And when you have gratitude, all things are possible. At least that's what I believe. It says, if you're waiting for somebody to show up, I feel like there's been a disagreement with a male excuse me for some of you, I don't think it's going to happen. You know, you're going to have to make the call or reach out and that's up to you what you do. That's all I'm going to say about that. I just feel like you're going to have to be the one to reach out. Is it a good thing? I don't know. You'll find out if you do, if you do reach out. After that, this is separate from that. I feel victories on the way for you in other areas. Hard work that you've put in at work or play, you could pay off immensely with that. It looks like um, abundance, prosperity, just things that you've been waiting for are all before you. In the love area, those are you are single or alone, something about that could change. Just be open to receive, open to meet. You know, let your friends know you're ready. They might not know that you're ready to start over again or be with somebody. Because I feel like you meet somebody through somebody you know. <coughs> excuse me and this is going to be really big for you I just feel like um, counsel may be needed and counsel could be a lawyer it could be a doctor a therapist it could be two friends talking speaking up will help bring someone 
in with you. And whether you have to go online, which I don't understand how online dating works, but if that works for you, hey, try it. Because it says speaking up is going to help that along much quicker. I feel like there's going to be help given to you. Hmm, I'm not sure what that is. Let's see, I feel like you're gonna get help like as an example. I'm trying to think of an example. An example would be, let's say you're moving. Your friends help, they show up. <coughs> Excuse me. If you need something repaired, your dad, your uncle, your brother, somebody shows up to help you. So your excuses are gone now. If you ask, guess what? They're gonna come. If you ask, they're gonna show up for you. But remember, everybody doesn't know what you need unless you say something. You're gonna be making some very wise, determined choices this month too, whether that be in love, work, or whatever. It just seems like, and this isn't about whether I should buy that new outfit or that get a cat or a dog. This is very big stuff. Like, should I move? Should I sell my house? Should I change jobs? <coughs> Excuse me. And when you do, they're, it's, you, they're gonna be methodical choices, which are good. There's no, you're gonna use your strength. You're not gonna haphazard and say, I quit my job tomorrow and move into Phoenix, Arizona, you know, when you live in New York City. You, you're gonna have your plan and things are gonna work for you. Look back at how things were before. Listen, write a plan, do what you want. But make your life about you, especially those of you that are single. Don't uh, don't be wanting and wishing for something and not doing anything about it because it looks like the opportunities that are going to present themselves to you right now are going to be quite good. It looks like you might have an apprenticeship going on, learning that you can get what you ask for. <coughs> oh, I'm so sorry to be coughing on you. Oh my goodness. This says that you can have what you want. Remember that you can have what you want. It's right before you. Um, don't be talked into or out of something that you really want. Uh, you know, but like if, if, if you want to fly to the moon and your friend says, hey, you better wait until they're taking people up there, which I guess they are if you can afford it. I'm just saying, make a plan and then, you know, tweak it as you go. Changes are definitely on the way. You've made quite a few. But that some of the changes you made are going to improve your finances. Okay, whether you've paid your car off, your house off, or something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Or even saving a little bit of money every month would be nice. But I feel like the vacation you've wanted to go on is definitely before you. Um, meeting up with friends is going to be right before you. It's time to get out and do something that's fun instead of just, you know, like poor me. That attitude isn't going to fly anymore and i'm not saying you're not entitled to it but by having and i just sound like a broken record gratitude has been a main focus today when you have even the smallest bit of gratitude things can be better so try to find it i don't care if it's because you got new shoelaces that's something to have gratitude for and i'm being silly here but it says just because the tower has come and gone you don't have to hold on to the tower and the tower can be many things it can be an upheaval in a relationship it can be losing a job or losing somebody. But it also says that you will get through this. You're strong, <coughs> excuse me, and you're smart. And there's things already in the, in the works for you. You are an, a, a, a chariot, one who can achieve greatness. When the sadness comes, don't keep stuffing it down. Oh gosh, I just said this not that long ago. Sit with it. Don't give your power away. And how you call your power back is as simple. I'm calling my power back. You can do that a thousand times a day if need be. Spirits walking right with you. What you want is before you. You are going to make choices and things are going to get better for you, Sagittarius. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. Thank you so much for dropping by. I hope I'm not coughing next month and I'll talk to you then.